Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to All Link to the Past. So last time, we took on the first dungeon of the Dark World, the Palace of Darkness. And we took out the Helm Sword King and got our hands on the Magical Hammer, which we can use to pound down these stakes and go down here. And also pound your mother. And, really? Why is every single rock in this world alive? Get out of here. I... Oh, okay. Let's get some. I'm gonna try and freeze him and then smash him with a hammer like we were told to do to get magic back, but apparently that doesn't work. Okay, so... Uh, we could try and go on over here and then down, I guess. It looks like this is gonna be the second dungeon because they're numbered, so... I'm assuming we're supposed to do them in order. Maybe you don't have to. I don't really know, but we're just gonna... Ouch! We're just gonna make that assumption. So we're gonna try going here first and get, get out of here. Hey, we got a hard bank. Yoink. It could be my imagination, but those uh, dudes with the spears seem to be really good for dropping hearts. Could be a coincidence, I don't really know. Be oh, this, this is bad. I knew that was gonna happen. You gave me a heart too. Thank you. Oh, a good rock. Shocking. So yeah, this one's numbered as number two. We got number one already. That was the Palace of Darkness, so... Like I say, I'm assuming this is the order you're supposed to do them in. The numbers might not mean a damn thing, but... It seems kind of unlikely to me, because it's not like the pendants were numbered, but they did have an order. I have no freaking idea. Screw it, we're going in. Okay, it's looking promising so far. Oh, wait a minute, there's a section on the left that we can't actually climb to yet. Oh. That's not good. Is there something over here we can use to activate it? Link, it is an idea. Objects is exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of something changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Oh. Okay, so in other words, in, in order to get into this palace, we need to somehow change something in the light world and then come back here. Oops. I forgot the magical mirror actually just teleports you back to the start of the dungeon. I think it wouldn't do that in the dark world, but apparently it does. Right. So let's go back to the light world and see if we can figure out what the hell we're doing here. Now, I remember coming here before and there was a chest. We got the stuff in the chest, but we couldn't figure out how to get past it. So I'm now thinking we, there must be some way past this. What am I doing wrong here? I... Can you really not pull any of these? I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I figure we have to go in that doorway and activate something there and then go back to the dark world. Give me a moment here. Wait, what? Really? You can just push that block? Oh, motherfucker, I swear I tried that. Apparently I didn't, but I could have sworn I did. So yeah, I'm guessing what- Oh, that was the wrong one, son of a bitch. Okay, it's just bombs, we're gonna be fine. No, 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 oh, damn Andy Farrah, get out of here. So I'm guessing this is gonna release the water. Yes. And then there was a ladder in the dark world that we can reach, so I'm guessing the water's gonna be there as well now. Which means, boom, we can swim there and grab onto the ladder. Genius. Yeah, give me that fairy. Yummy! Right, right, let's go back. And god damn it. Hopefully it actually works this time. So annoyingly that means we could have done that- Oh. oh. Okay, there's a hard piece over there. I was gonna say, so annoyingly that means we could have done that- Ouch! Oh my god, I hate everything. Really? We could have done that the first time we came here in the light world, which means we could have got this hard piece a long time ago. Not that it really matters that much, it would have been nice. But whatever. And there's a fish over here. Oh, we can pick up fish buddy. Can we- wait a minute. It's a fish, we have a net. Can we catch fish buddy? I- Come here fish buddy. Oh my god, trolliest freaking fish of all time. Stand still! Okay, whatever. Looks like you can't catch it. Don't know if the fish has any point, maybe you can put it in a bottle or something? Kinda hard to say. But say, uh, yeah, I assume it's just something random that doesn't really do anything. And it is indeed drained outside, which means... Yes! Perfect. Oh, thank you. Right, so I'm assuming we can actually do this dungeon now, because that seemed to be the prerequisite here. This is, uh... This is a shitty situation. I, damn it! What, what the hell are these things? I, oh god, what the hell is that? Hey, we got a chest. A key, good, because we needed that. What are you? Oh, it's like a... a, a Screw everything. I'm already kind of getting a vibe here that this is going to be like a water temple. Probably- oh god! Oh, pro I was going to say probably, but hopefully not as tough as the water temple in Ocarina of Time, because good lord. I remember I did eventually beat that, but I was in that thing for hours. Like hours and hours and hours. Good lord. And we have another chest over here, and oh, what the hell are you? Huh. It's just weird red blob things. Now, half as scary as I thought it was going to be, and we got the map. And there's an interesting looking uh, skull pop thingy down there, which I am assuming is going to probably have a key under it, because it looks important to me. And yeah, I don't like. Oh, this is a shitty room. This is a shitty room. 
Ouch. I really shouldn't be stopping to loot these pots. Okay, exactly. I'm now glad I stopped to loot the pots. Oh my god, screw everybody. I hate those water globe things. Looks like you can't even block them with your shield. I don't know, but we are very low on HP. Stop hitting me. Hey, we got a heart back. Thank you. I was gonna say, don't be zapping me. Don't you zap me either. Perfect. Dude, give me booty. Well, you did give me booty. I guess the, uh, the magic power's handy, but I wanted hearts. Like, I'd really like hearts. Looks like these might be push blocks that we can use, but also they don't seem to do anything. Don't really want to stand around trying the other ones and get them beaten up. And we have a door there, and uh, well, it looks like probably a statue we can push out of the way. Are you indeed a key? Yes. I thought so. Looks like a lever over there, and we need the hammer. Luckily, we have it. If I had a hammer, I would hammer diglets in the morning, in the evening, all over this land. Oh, apparently we can't push the statue, so this is a one-way thing. Maybe act- oh my god, you're such a dick. Get it, really? Thank you. Maybe activating this lever thingy over here is gonna somehow allow us to get past that statue? I really don't know. Now, how do we activate the statue? I'm trying to grab it like you can with pots or whatever. It is not letting me grab it. Um... Hello? I... I'm hitting it and stuff. I, I... What am I doing wrong here? This is clearly a lever. What do you do? How do I... Oh, okay. Weird. Well, at least we did it. And it's opened up the floodgates, so... Yeah, I kind of actually think I know where we need to go now. I'm guessing it's going to raise because there was another climbable thing in the other room. So that probably allows us to get past the statue. So what's the point of the damn statue, then? I don't know. And, oh, The hell? It's like a weird fish thing just came out of the... The wall? That's kind of gross looking. I don't like that. They remind me of silverfish. I gotta hate silverfish. They're gross. And I don't mean the ones in Minecraft. I mean, like, real silverfish. Those things are disgusting. They don't live in the water, but still. Aha, I knew it. So we can't indeed get around past the statue. Yeah, I don't know. What's the point of the statue? Oh, you can't even... It's just there to block you and be a dick. That's really random looking, but okay. Ooh. All right, there are... Ah, okay. Dick, dick, dicks! Everything... Oh, there are so many enemies in here. Fuck everything. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. Well, there goes one fairy. I believe I have one more left. I hope so. I mean, we only have two pots right now. Oh, apparently someone told me there is a third pot that we can get. We could have got a long time ago. Whatever, we'll go back and grab that next time we're in the light world. Not really worth backtracking for right now. And I was thinking maybe you could pull those guys' tongues to activate something, because I'm sure you can do that at some point, but apparently not here. But yeah, I see the dungeon chest there, like the, the item. So I think I know what we're going to be getting here. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that's new to this, because, you know, there are people watching this that have never seen Zelda before, which kind of amazes me, but still. Uh, there are, you can, if you look around the room, there's kind of clues as to what it's going to be, so I'm pretty damn sure I know what we're going to be getting, and it's one of my favorite items, as you might imagine. It's kind of one of everyone's. Okay, this is a, it's a lovely room of death. And we have the blue block thingies there, which means there's going to be one of the switches around here somewhere. Speaking of blocks, it looks like we've got some kind of a puzzle here. Maybe. How do I... How do I live without you? Really? How do I get past then? I don't know. It doesn't seem to work. Maybe that's only for coming back, I suppose. We've got another key, there's a chest up there, and I see a lever, and the thing that we need to change the blocks around. So here's the question, how the balls do we get there? Okay, get out of the way, fireball buddy. Thank you. But yeah, don't really know where to go now, there might be some, in fact, I was gonna say, there's actually a staircase up there, so this looks like, yes, and we have the key now, good, I was gonna say. There was nothing over to the left up here, wouldn't really know what the hell to do. Ah. Now, I think I know what the game wants us to do here. Clearly, we have to hit that dick! Clearly, we have to hit that. But we can't reach it from here. Don't know if the boomerang works, but what I do know is we can check a bomb over there. And... Boom, son! Yeah. Suck you on that. And that, that son of a bitch just hit me. Okay, did 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 yeah. Hey, we got a heart back. Good. Let's activate this damn thing. I'm assuming water's gonna come out of there. Yes, indeed. Don't really know what that's gonna do for us this time. But, yeah. So, I don't know if we want... Here's a question. I don't know if we want to leave the blocks down or put them up again. I guess we'll leave them for now. Oh, it looks like maybe we had to to actually get out of here. Maybe I'll regret that. I guess we can always double back if we need to. It's going to be annoying, but... 
hopefully that's the way we're supposed to leave them. Now see a pot over here. Do you contain a key? Oh, there's more monsters coming out of the ground. Duh! Yeah, pot of justice. Okay, sorry about the random cut there. I suddenly realized it was time to feed my dog, and I am a good owner, goddammit. Even though he's a bastard and I hate him. Well, I, I love my dog, but I also hate him. You know, it's like a love-hate relationship. When he, he just barks so damn much. Ouch! I hate everything. And by the way, in case people are wondering why I can always complain about him barking, but you never hear it. I either edit it out if it's too loud, but usually my mic is so damn not sensitive, which I know is really bad grammar, but my mic picks up like nothing, which is a good thing. Because, like, if I was two feet away from this microphone, you wouldn't hear a damn thing. So, it's handy for situations like my dog going crazy, but he still pisses me off, you know? And, uh, I think I fucked up this puzzle. <laughs> Good work, brain. Good freaking work. Okay. That was extremely close to me hitting everything, and yes, we are desperately low on hearts, and like I say, I do believe we're down to one fairy. And then when that's out, that means next time we get KO'd, we're gonna die. Which I don't remember exactly how negative that is. You can just continue again, but I think we may have to start the dungeon all the way from the start. Something like that. Plus, I don't want to die. I'm trying to only use the fairies and not get KO'd. That's kind of like, you know, a little thing I'm trying to do here as like an extra challenge, but... So far, so good, but yeah, the game just gets harder and harder, and I kind of suck at it. Damn, that was some good dodging. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this is a shitty room. Like, a real, really shitty room. Okay, we have... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Screw everything. Screw everything. I think we have to... Son of a bitch. Yep, there goes my fury. Now we're in trouble. But yeah, I think we have to push these blocks down the holes. So that maybe we can use them on a lower level or something, but it's not letting me push it. Can I do it to this one? No. Ah, shit. Well, I screwed that up, apparently. Is that where we came in? I... I can't remember. We need to reset the room anyway. Yes, it was. It's all starting to look the same to me, man. It's like a freaking maze in here. I gotta push this damn block out of the way again. Now this time, don't get beaten up by the water things. Like that. Oh my god, screw everything. I... Okay. Here's what I think we need to do. I think... Yes, we need to push it from the side. Thank you. <laughs> Where the hell are we now? We are by a couple of pots, and we got absolutely nothing of worth out of them. Will. See, here's the thing. The dungeon item will allow us to get to that chest over there. But we don't have it right now. And I need to go get fairy, so I'm gonna do that very quickly, and I'll be right back. In fact, actually, watch the minute, I'll show you on camera the easiest place to get fairies, at least in the light world. The dark world, kind of a problem right now, but, uh... Basically, if you save and quit the game, you can start from one of these three locations in the light world. Dark world, you always start from the top of that damn pyramid, which is annoying. Now, I believe, just to the left of Link's house, and up a little tiny bit... There's, uh, there was like a pile of those shells or rocks or whatever it is. That was the one I randomly ran into and didn't even realize that it was a secret. And yeah, this is where the nearest fairy fountain is, so... This is where you can get them very easily in the light world. Like I say, the dark world, a bit of a problem, but... It's easy enough to transfer between them, it's just a little bit inconvenient. Hold up a second, I don't think we ever actually went in this door down here, did we? It doesn't look familiar. Okay, I'm glad I actually remember this, because there's probably a key or something important that we need in here. Might even be the big key, because when we get that, we can get the dungeon item, and then that's going to allow us to go a bunch of places we couldn't go before. Again, I don't want to spoil what it is for anyone that's new to the series, but... Yeah, a lot of you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, okay. Random compass. That, uh... That was unexpected, but hey, we got a compass. We're never going to use it, but we have it. Okay, we're back in this giant room of death again. Oh my god, there's shit everywhere. I... Okay. We're in. Now, this actually... Yeah, I was going to say, it actually allows us to get this key. Uh, okay, it's not a key. I was really expecting that to be the big key. Really? Where the hell's the big key, then? All the orange blocks are down now. Ooh. Ah, okay, because I teleport now, I reset the dungeon, because you may remember we had to activate them in the first place. So now that the orange blocks are down, I think we need to drop down the right-hand hole that we dropped down before, and then we can carry on going in that direction. That will hopefully get us the big key, and then we know where to use it. I, there's a lot of ifs and hopes here, but... You know. We, if it's not, I, I really don't know where to go. This, this dungeon doesn't seem that complicated compared to what we've done, so... 
Yeah, surely... Oh, they come back again. Nice. Surely the big key has to be over here somewhere. I'm guessing that's gonna be it. Oh my god. So much cash money. Yes, we got a big key. Alright, let's go back and get our booty. Out of my way, jerks. I'm a man on a mission smashing the competition. And there we go. Boing! This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts and boing! It can grapple many things. Boing! So yeah, for example, we can now go over here. But it is. Apparently nothing here that we wanted, but whatever. Oh, I was gonna say, how the hell do we get back, but you can just drop off the edge. And the other good thing about the grappling hook, I believe, for a start it works like the boomerang. I believe it also stuns enemies and you can grab items with it, so... Yeah, I, I don't think you need the boomerang once you have this. The boomerang might do something extra, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and that's where we use the key over there. I was gonna say, I haven't actually seen a locked door, because apparently I missed that entirely. Luckily, I accidentally spotted that. So yeah, this end undoubtedly is gonna take us to our boss. That's about damn time. Oh, a lovely room of death again. Get out of here. Oh, and I discovered that you can actually kill the watery globe things. You can attack them with your sword. Doesn't get rid of them permanently, but you know, it's a temporary solution. And really? I can't do anything with this? There's a locked door there, so there's got to be some kind of a switch or something. I guess it must be on the other side. Hello? Random switch? Are you around here? Guys, I need you to die. Oh, the other thing as well, I believe... Oh. Oh, okay. Can we push the statue? Yes, we can. I believe those uh, zappy fellas, you can hit them with a hook shot even when they're zapping, and you don't actually get shock plants. Which also, very handy. Like that. Come here, you red skull bastard. Oh my god, I hate you. I hate everything. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to grapple my way over there. That was uh, a little bit scary. That's one thing you got to be careful of. You can grapple onto a shit ton of stuff, so... You can pull yourself into danger sometimes. Now, maybe this is one of the ones where you can pull the tongue. And uh, nope, apparently not. Well, alright then. Ooh. There's another way to go over there. There was another door, so... I don't know which one we're supposed to be going in first. And this is one of those levers you can only hit from the right, isn't it? Which is probably, if I were to guess, going to drain this water and then allow us to get in there. So, it looks like I've gone the wrong way. Motherfucker. I just realized we have a shit ton of rupees. I should really go back to the waterfall of... In fact, no, the Pond of Happiness. I was confused with damn names. I should go back to the Pond of Happiness and chuck a bunch in, because... Okay, you 15 bombs, it's okay. But more would be nice. The arrow is not so much of an issue, I don't really use the bow that much. I know there are some bosses and enemies you kind of have to use the bow for, but... They're kind of few and far between. Oh, there's booty down there. Uh, We can't do anything in this room. Son of a bitch, where am I supposed to go first? I guess we go in the door on the left then. Well, screw you, go- Ow! I hate everything. Get out of here. Oh my god, the enemies in the dark world are so damn trolly. Okay, all right, let's push this damn thing on here again. So yeah, I'm guessing this is where our lever's gonna be, or at least give us access to the lever so that we can drain the water and get that loot down there. It might not be essential, I don't really know, but... Yeah, screw it, we're gonna go check anyway. Uh-huh. Come here, here we go. Right, now don't get hit, but thank you. <laughs> I'm glad the other one's zapped first. Hey, we got a heart back, about damn time. I was gonna say, we haven't had a heart drop from an enemy in quite some time. Yeah, okay, so we can push it from here. Do you drain the water? Yes. Perfect. So... We have two directions to go in now, because the other one allows us to get to those chests, or whatever. So where does this direction take us? Ooh, okay, so this is probably where we have to go. Right, let's double back and go get the loot. It's probably just money or something, but I want it. Okay, give me that booty. You never know, there might be a small key here we need or something. Rupees and rupees. Yummy. Okay. Hey. Please tell me. Oh, I, son of a bitch. I could have just walked down there. I went all the way back. Oh my god. Sometimes game, sometimes. <laughs> it's like they're trying to help you by giving you a shortcut to that shit. I never realized that was the case. Where do we go now? Is there some... Oh, we can go over here. I totally missed that door. And... Wait, what? It's a dead end? Oh, that's bad. Oh, there's a room over there. How do we get over there? I don't know, maybe... There's like a secret entrance behind one of the waterfalls or something, because... I don't know where else we could go. I mean, I'm guessing it's going to be one of the waterfalls over on the right in that direction, but we're going to try all of them just in case, because... Yeah. 
If that's not how we get to that, my only other inkling is maybe one of the push blocks opens up a pathway or something. But if not, then hey, there we go. That was uh, very lucky. I had no idea that was actually the case. Again, I've done these dungeons before, but 15 years ago, man, I did not remember that shit. Good work, Brain. I'm proud of you. And where the hell's the boss, man? Like, god damn, we got the key and the booty from the uh, giant chest a long time ago. And the, hey, I see a cracked wall down there and some pots. Ew, I see the cracked wall there. Okay, and it looks like we got some swimming to do, and apparently I can't hit you from here. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. That was so damn cheap. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, no, you cannot do a damn thing in the water besides swim. So it's not even like I can kill them. You maybe can use the arrow or something, but like that pot didn't seem to hit him, so... Yeah, I get the thing, you just can't kill them. Well, screw you then. Just screw you. Don't hit me with the explosion. Good. Kind of almost ran into it, but whatever. Hey, I see our boss. Trying to look at, like, the face of that? Oh, get away from me. Okay. Trying to look at the face on the floor to try and tell what boss it's gonna be? I have no idea. I remember the, ca the Helmosaur King, I remember the Armus Knights, and Moldorm. That's about it, really. I mean, I might remember them when I see them, but, uh, yeah, either way, it's boss time, and I'm guessing we're gonna need the item. Ooh. I don't remember this at all. But apparently we can grab, like, whatever they are, balloons, from it. O okay. Oh, it's like a giant eyeball of death. Lovely. Well, screw it, I guess we're just gonna hookshot the shit out of it. It looks like to me we gotta get rid of all of these, and then we can get to the big, you know, octopus one-eyed cyclops thing. Ouch! The one-eyed cyclops, I oh my god. Come back here, you trolley bastards. It's really annoying, they, tr they try and fly back to the thing. No, mommy save me. No, your mommy gonna dare. But yeah, it looks like we gotta get rid of these first, then we can beat up the octopus thing in the middle. At least that's my assumption, so... This is probably not really even the boss fight. Like, we probably gotta find that thing for real after we're done here. Maybe it's gonna be easy, maybe this is the hard part, but I kinda doubt it. Oh, okay, well, I just got you. Oh, yeah, I figured something was gonna happen. And it seems to create splashes when it lands, so I'm guessing they can hit me. And he moves around, okay. He, she, it's probably a she, I don't know, ouch. That's two hearts of damage, apparently. Okay, that was our first fairy. I don't think I've used the second one yet. No, we haven't, so. You know, I think we're gonna be okay here, maybe. Come here, the air wing girl. And yeah, yeah, I think the spin attack does like twice the damage of just swinging the sword, so we probably want to mostly try and do that. Come here, come on. There we go, ha uh -huh. And it's down. Suck on that, whatever the hell you are. Give me that heart. Oh, you can't grab it. That sucks. And give me my crystally thing. Yes. Like a badass. And by the way, I'm really glad I went back for those first, because had I not done, we would have died. What's up, girl? How you doing? Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it is hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few know of its location, but at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have the magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. Now, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. My god, do you understand? Yes. Don't repeat that shit. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. And damn well better, otherwise what the hell are we doing here? Alrighty, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Zelda.